Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala bar'ayi rahabatifillah The question arises How do we find agreeance between spending time with our families, seeking knowledge and work? Ahabatifillah The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith of uh, Ibn Abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu ma qal Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam نعمتاني مغبون فيها فيهما كثير من الناس أصيحة والفراغ والفراغ رواه بخاري. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in the hadith of Ibn Abbas رضي الله تعالى عنهما. He said that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said that two blessings are wasted with most of the people or many of the people. Their health and their free time. And this was narrated in Bukhari. The Prophet وسلم, also said that your family has rights upon you and that you have to give everyone their right. And also in the hadith, An Ma'kil ibn Yasar radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal, Sami'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul, Ma min abdin yastari'hi. Allah riyaya Yumutu yumul yumut wa huwa ghashun li ra'iyatihi illa harrama Allah alayhi al-jannah mutafiqun alayhi The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith of Ma'kil ibn Yasar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he said I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying there isn't a servant that Allah has entrusted him with responsibility or the responsibility over someone. And then he dies, and the day he dies, he had been, had cheated those he, uh, the one he was responsible for, or his responsibility. Except that Allah will prohibit for him Jannah. So again, Ahabatifillah, it's imperative that we give everyone their rights. So how can we practice that with knowing the importance of knowledge? First, the ulama say one thing that's very important that we have to realize is uh, the haq we give al-awla bil awla, that we take the first, the highest responsibility and the wajib over the mustahab, over that which is recommended. So you should always do your obligatory duties before doing those duties which are recommended. So for example, a person should not stay up making Qiyam al-Layl, but then they sleep through Fajr. And this happens. And in fact, just today someone told me their own personal story, may Allah forgive us and him, that this is his situation, that he stayed up, he made Qiyam al-Layl, and I'm not mentioning, I'm mentioning him as an example, and I'm not mentioning the individual by name, and no one will know who I'm talking about. But he mentioned this to me in our discussion today, and he said that this was his situation, letting us know. But that's a mis that he's given us the illustration that that's a mistake. You do not make the that which is recommended over the wajib, and likewise, it is an obligation for you to seek some knowledge, to seek knowledge of who Allah is, how to worship Him properly. But that doesn't mean. That, that seeking knowledge has to supersede your taking care of your family or spending some time with your family. Take some time for them. Asabi sa, kama kala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That take an hour for them and an hour for seeking knowledge and with work. So come home from work. If you worked eight hours, you worked 10 hours, whatever. I know it's difficult, but that's what it takes to get knowledge. And as Sheikh and Sheikh Mukbil bin Hadi al Wadi said, that knowledge does not come by a comfortable body. So, therefore, how can you integrate your family into that seeking knowledge? Maybe your family is not Talib al Ilm, but maybe you can read one hadith to them from Riyadh al Salihin, or from Bukhari, or Muslim, <coughs> or a Mas'ala Ilmi that you all sit down for five minutes and benefit from. Then you do something 
that they would like to do or, or that you do as a family. Then you go revise that issue and look at the explanation of that issue or spend time seeking the shark or what, what have you. But the point is, is it doesn't have to contradict one another. It may not be to the, in the way we want. We may want to spend hours seeking knowledge and little time with our family. But the, the main point is, is that you give some time, you give each and every one their right. Give some time to your family and give some time to seeking knowledge. And of course, the time that you need to for your work and your job, and try to keep that balance. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.